According to a new study, Americans think they'll need a record $1.46 million to retire comfortably. Local financial professional Tom Newman from Drake & Associates joins us now to share why the magic number is on the rise and how we can catch up if we're falling behind. Good morning, Tom. How are you? Good morning, Alex. I'm doing well. You know, you guys were just talking about Justin Timberlake. I don't think he's retiring anytime <laughs> soon. He just dropped another album. I know. It's crazy, right? And I love his new songs. <laughs> but I got to yeah. say, he's probably got an easier time uh, saving up in the bank right now. Probably has a bit more than we do here in studio. So what can we do to get to that level of Justin Timberlake? Yeah, so uh, the general rule of thumb is, is that we should be saving around 10 to maybe 15% of our, our income towards retirement. Uh, it really depends, though, on your individual financial situation and your desired lifestyle in retirement. Um, for many, many years, a uh, couple decades at least, there's been this notion that you really need to reach a certain dollar threshold in order to feel comfortable in retirement. And while that is a good rule of thumb, what myself and our organization have found in retirement planning is that it really depends on your income versus your expenses more than it does reaching a dollar figure. So uh, making sure that you're taking stock of what your lifestyle would look like in retirement and how much expenses that would uh, cost you, that is the key exercise that you wanna go to. And then you can start building upon that for how much you do need to save. And Tom, you said you've recently been traveling and you realized that a dollar goes farther in other places. So say you have plans to retire not in the U.S., maybe you don't need as much money as you would here. It's very possible, absolutely. And and a lot of people have been choosing alternatives, whether that's within this uh, country or even um, internationally. There are pockets of the United States where your dollar stretches a lot further or there isn't state income tax. And those those types of things might have a huge impact on how long your money lasts for you because one of the most overlooked things when it comes to retirement planning is taxes on your money. So you want to incorporate that into your planning process for how it's going to be and where you're going to be located. What is the number one tip that you have for people who are listening and they just want to be saving a little bit more every month? What should they be doing? I think automating your um, savings. Uh, so making sure that if you are still working and your company offers a retirement program like a 403b or a 401k or those types of things that you are are making sure that you're contributing every single paycheck and i would suggest that you're absolutely uh picking a percentage that gets you the match if you're lucky enough to be with an organization that will match what you contribute um, you never want to leave free money on the table so making sure that you're contributing as much as that matches and then going above and beyond on that once you put that aside and it doesn't hit your paycheck and your bank account you are less um likely to be spending or dipping into it because you just never had it in the first place so that's the biggest key for those who are uh, nearing retirement you can make up uh, catch up contributions into your 401k or or your ira and i would suggest taking advantage of those opportunities as well and Tom, last but not least, give us your website for the viewers. Yeah, so our website, you can get a whole host of information, whether it's budgeting for retirement or starting to plan for retirement. Uh, you can go to drakeandassociates.net. All right, Tom, that's all the time we have for today. But thank you so much for keeping us financially fit. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Have a great day.